Welcome to day 10 and a very, very, very happy Dashera to all of you. May victory of, of good over evil, may the victory of industry over laziness be yours. We start off with installment 10 or installment last with a women cricket team. They're making great news and as you can see, the Indian bowling team, you have the Australians batting, you have the wicket keeper standing well up, so you could well guess that you're going to have a spinner coming into bowl. Of course, you have a <coughs> silly point, you have a leg slip and a slip, you have a short mid on, a mid on, and two people on the leg side and one on the deep and the off side fielding. I'm talking this with you just after Chennai has put up a huge score and hoping that the Kolkata Knight Riders don't get there. Is that Saraswati Puja or Durgashtami is happening in the IPL finals? We have a nice hospital here right before you. But before we talk hospital, let's come over to something more pleasant, the Dashera festival here. We have the Dashera festival now. See a lot of green around on all sides, typically of Mysore, a lot of plants on the side. The Maharaja's elephant, there's an elephant with an occupant in the front. To the side you see the Maharaja sitting and then the procession with the Raja on the, on the camel. The music playing group, the band. There are sepoys, the Raja mounted on a mountain. Separately is the queen behind. This is the Mysore procession at the Shera. You will not miss some lovely elephants on both sides of the road. It's long road with a Chaurahi. Obviously, it's election time because there are no statues at the Chaurahi cars and uh, cars of different kinds. There's also a firefighting and an ambulance, but before the ambulance, the ambulance is right in front of a huge uh, hospital. The civil engineer of that hospital was our friend Ayu, but the architect of the entire uh, show of this day is completely and exclusively Datu. He planned every bit an inch of the sand show at the Sera 2021. After the hospital, you have a residential colony of some houses and a few guys, lads around the place. And again, you see the area is full of greenery, a lot of plants around. The trucker and the troller have come to remove sand, a huge mining problem, I guess, which is significantly characteristic of the cities moving from urban from rural to urban so let's go to the rural area where you have a village in the village you have a few auto rickshaws you have a lot of artisans working people making baskets you have the vegetable vendor selling vegetables in a push cart You have the pottery making person. You have vegetable vendors on this side, separately vegetables and fruits. You also have a blacksmith, a man weaving cloth, a couple of vendors on the road, some huge houses, and a few villagers of the village. From the urban cricket stadium to Mysore, to our urban area of the hospital, we came to a village and now let's return to a forest. It's a very small area of a forest, not too many wild animals. We have a small den there and a tiger heading towards it, a giraffe and a camel, some domestic animals. Some birds resting. 
This is more a typical out of the village forest area, not very dense. And a few birds and animals habitat of animals which are partly domestic and partly wild. But even in the midst of that, you ever hear so often these days of wild animals coming towards urban life because of forests disappearing and so you have the wild animal there. Ladies, gentlemen and other friends who have been viewing all this, we have a lovely tree there with a number of birds perched on it. A fallen tree in the background. And now time to say thank you and bye-bye. Before I say bye-bye, I will acknowledge the great contributions made first by Ritika for helping us put up the whole show. She's been a major persona in clearing the dolls, cleaning the dolls, making them presentable. Then there's Abhinav who every evening sits down to edit what is shot and presented on the YouTube channel. And of course, Datu, who's not only the architect of the present room, but has been largely responsible for taking every visit, and we've had nearly 1,000 of them this year, through a conducted tour through the, all the rooms and all the places of the dolls. I would also like to thank all the people who said yes to my invite and came over, people cutting across all kinds of time zones, uh, social strata, all of you, thank you very, very much for being here with us. It was kick-started by my sister, Dr. Geeta Sharma, who was the first visitor, and the last was Ravi Prasad, advocate of the NCLT. Acknowledge everybody. It's a long list of thousand-odd people. I'm saying thousand adults, children excluded, who came in to watch this and encourage all of us. Thank you all. Thank you very much. So as I sign off with the hope, Phir milenge, agle saal. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and hope all of you are in a nice mood to catch up with the Shira 2022. This is Ravi Chandra signing off with a warm bye-bye for the Shira 2021. Thank you.